Hi, this is Shannon Kringen, Goddess Kring. Um, it is now June 22nd, 2020, and I painted my face. I made this necklace, and I was just online for two hours on Instagram television with an artist named Eli. I will link his Instagram uh, underneath this video. Um, I had a really good time. I I'm kind of an introverted, shy person in, in my social life, in my real life, but on my internet life, I am very friendly, more outgoing. Um, I share a lot on social media, and I'm a creative person, and Eli collaborates with lots of different musicians and visual artists. Um, he did self-portraits, and he points the camera at himself and his easel so you can watch him do self-portraits. And so for two hours, I was on an Instagram. There's my kitty in the background. Kisun, kitty, kitty. I was on Instagram, and I've got my guitar, uh, which isn't tuned, but it's I'm uh, left-handed, and so it's tuned upside down for left-handers like me. Uh, there's my tattoo that I designed and my necklace and my face paint. Um, so for one hour, I played my keyboard, uh, albeit not greatly. I did improv improvisation, and it wasn't great, but I have done some, uh, I think, fairly interesting music and poetry and spoken word collaborations with people, <clears throat> Claxton Kent from Portland, to name a few. But um, <clears throat> I'm mostly a visual artist and an art model, but for the first hour, we did live Instagram TV, and for the first hour, I played my keyboard, and then Eli... Um, did sell portraits. And so the audience saw me and heard me playing keyboard with my face paint on in the, in the lower frame. And then in the upper frame was Eli doing self portrait. And then for the second hour, uh, I posed and I just sat very still and kind of looked at a three quarter like pose, you know, because I pose as a model. And so I was in the frame at a three quarter view and just kind of did one main pose for almost a whole hour. And then Eli and I talked back and forth. I hope I'm saying his name right. I'm not good with names because his Instagram handle is E-L-I and then a few other letters. And I, I don't know how to pronounce it. I should have asked him. Sorry about that. Um, I might be a little bit autistic, meaning that my brain is a bit weird and chaotic and my memory is a bit weird. And I'm very creative and talented and yet chronological order doesn't work for me and I'm very kind of chaotic and I can't even explain it. I have synesthesia. I, I, uh, I see shapes when I hear music. And so my brain is a little different. Uh, I'm actually waiting to be assessed for high functioning, highly intelligent, gifted autism. I'm not saying that to put myself down. I'm just saying um, part of my weird scatterbrainness might be because of that. And yet I have artistic abilities probably because of the way my brain is. Uh, I see shapes when I hear music, and I write interesting uh, rhymy poetry that's, you know, rhymy. So I just wanted to do this video just to document the face paint that I did and to say that I feel better because I've been really stressed out. Um, this economic and medical crisis we're in is quite the challenge, and I've been spending a lot of time uh, in my apartment with my cat, my cat behind me, he's very happy that I'm alone, that I'm with him all the time in my house. And I go for walks in nature, barefoot. I touch trees. Uh, I'm keeping my immune system healthy. So I just wanted to share that I have a Patreon. You can support me on Patreon. You can join my Friday night figure group and you can check out Eli's really interesting Instagram um, which is a lot of live TV video shows that he does with other artists where he collaborates. I don't know if, what he calls them, but it's like a split screen collaboration. Uh, him doing self portraits and then the other person doing that. And God, somebody today got mad at me because I'm repetitive. I'm very repetitive. I'm OCD, obsessive compulsive. Um, and I'm very repetitive and I don't know how not to be and I'm not perfect. So I'm sorry if that annoys some people. I can only be myself. Be yourself no matter what they say. I annoy a lot of people and a lot of people annoy me. So it was really nice to work with Eli today and have a good time with him um, because I don't really, I'm not really good with groups. That's kind of why I got into art modeling um, because I wanted to feel a part of the community. I, I'm a loner. 
and I feel like an outcast and a misfit and an outsider, and I feel um, ostracized sometimes. And yet in the creative arts community, like I feel comfortable being a model nude in front of people that draw me and paint me. I feel comfortable doing performance art. I feel comfortable doing my radio show. Um, I feel comfortable uh, right now recording myself in my apartment and putting this online for anybody who likes this. Um, I have a figure drawing group that I, from my living room right here, I pose uh, figure modeling. Um, and all natural figure modeling and I pose in my living room. It's for adults only and it's a private group that I invite you to. Um, and it's a sliding scale. I prefer like 20 or 15 or $10, but you can pay as little as $1. If you can't afford any more than that, you can come and draw me. Um, you can join for free and then pay as you get there. So I have a Friday night figure drawing group and I have Wednesday night. I do my, um, I belong to a creative writing group that's free. Me and my friends, we creatively write together and then we read um, what we've written in a circle. And I really like that. And then let's see. Yeah, Wednesday creative writing and then Friday. And then I sell face masks and uh, neck gaiters with my art on them. And where is that? Here is my, uh, my hat that I made in a wool felting class. I made this hat. I'll put this on for a sec. Um, <laughs> yeah, that's my wool felting hat that I made in a class that I took on wool, on wool felting and it was really fun and it's just a fun hat that I made. So I just decided to wear it on camera tonight. Um, so I just wanted to document that I'm in a good mood because I was just online on live TV for two hours. I really feel a sense of community. I feel um, appreciated when I'm a model and when I talk to artists, I like talking back and forth. I love being interviewed. I like interviewing other people and I like being interviewed. So maybe I could collaborate. I feel kind of inspired. Maybe I could start doing Instagram live. Uh, maybe I could do a split screen. If you're a creative person that wants me to interview you, like, would you like to do a dialogue with me? I can interview you or you can interview me about interesting topics, about creativity, about artwork, about travel, about music, about science, about, I don't know, just interesting topics. I guess I could come up with that. Um, I seem to work best kind of more solo, but working with Eli tonight made me think, God, oh, maybe I could collaborate in some similar way. Uh, have a dialogue with interesting creative musicians or artists or philosophers um, or something. I don't know. It's just an idea. Or maybe I'll just keep doing my um, solo thing that I like to do. I like to do a lot of monologues. I have a, an hour long radio show that I do every week called Goddess Kring Radio. It's on Hollow Earth Radio. And then I put it on my Patreon, which is Goddess Kring, and my Mixcloud, which is Goddess Kring. Everything is called Goddess Kring. Um, and I'm probably going to upload this video to my uh, Facebook and my YouTube. So thank you for everybody who subscribes to my YouTube channel. And thank you, everybody on Facebook who listens to me. And I'm sorry if I hurt to anybody that I've hurt the feelings of, I'm sorry. And if I know you, I'm sorry. I can only be myself. I learned a hard lesson today in friendship that I really don't know how to be friends with certain people. Um, it's a long story and I don't want to say anything personal about this person, but somebody and I, I think are no longer friends as of today, uh, which I feel sad about. I don't know what's going to happen with that, but, um, I will just say that I am passive aggressive. Sometimes I, I think that I'm overly polite and nice to people. And then I sometimes have hostility that comes out in an, in a, in an indirect passive aggressive way. And I feel bad about that, but I don't know how to stop that. So I think I just can't be friends with certain people. Um, maybe I can learn to be more honest from the get go with people about who I am and what my opinions and thoughts and feelings are. I don't really know sometimes what kind of people that I can be close friends with. So 
mostly I think I don't want close friends and which probably proves that I'm autistic because I think only an autistic person would say that because sometimes I feel lonely, but mostly I don't like other people. Like I find people in terms of living with, like I liked working with Eli tonight on Instagram and I like talking with people online, but mostly I want to get off by myself. Like most of my most blissful time is when I'm by myself with my cat or with my boyfriend being affectionate or just sleeping, you know, resting, getting away from other people. I like to get away from other people as much as I can. So this whole isolating thing is actually, I kind of like it in a way, like I miss uh, the library and I miss the zoo where I volunteer and I miss all my modeling jobs at different art and medical schools, but I don't miss my social life. I didn't have much of a social. I love my creative writing friends, but we meet once a week and that's enough for me. Like I don't need lots of social stimulation. I see my boyfriend every couple days. I like a certain amount of social activity, but usually when I'm around somebody else, I want to get away from them. Like like I like hanging out and trying to enjoy being with another person, but a lot of times I'm thinking, okay, now eventually I get to go off by myself again. And then I feel better. Like I feel better by myself. And it's a little bit embarrassing to say that because it sounds really antisocial and, you know, like I need to learn to get along with people better. It's like, well, wait a minute. Maybe if I'm happier being by myself, that's okay. And yet I'm posting about it on social media. So I guess part of me wants to communicate in the way that I am right now. I don't know how many people really listen to my videos and listen to my radio show. I don't get a lot of feedback generally. So I don't know how many people really pay attention. I've been selling a lot of face masks. I sold maybe 40 face masks or 45. I lost track. I don't really know. I should probably go and count and see. I lost track at about 35. So I think it's been almost 45 masks and I sold five gaiters and I'm really happy, neck gaiters. I'm really happy about that. My face masks with my art on them are $20 each uh, and then a $5 shipping per order. If you get one mask or five masks, it's still $5 for shipping, $5 extra for shipping, $20 per mask. The neck gaiters are $28 each and that includes shipping. So you just get as many neck gaiters as you want times 28 and then there's no extra cost for shipping. I use two different companies to have my designs printed, so it's it's hard to explain why I picked the pricing that I did, but that's what I did. So $20 for yeah, face masks and $28 for um, neck gaiters, and you can look. I'll put a link below. You can join my Patreon. If you want to support me as an artist and a model, you can just say nice things to me. You can subscribe to my YouTube channel. Um, you can give me the thumbs up. That would be great. Um, spread the crane, as I like to say, and you can join my Patreon. Um, there's other websites that I'm starting that are subscription only as a way to earn money. Um, I have two pay websites right now. Uh, one is a secret and you can ask me about that. And one is Patreon, Goddess Crane Patreon. I have a radio show, um, that I don't get paid for. That's free nonprofit public service radio. Um, Let's see, that's non-commercial. My radio show is non-commercial. It's just me doing monologues, poetry, and music. Um, my Patreon helps me support myself, and you can see uh, fine art nude photos of me that you can draw and paint from, and it's for 18 and over only. It's for adults only. Um, and so that's a password-protected, secure website, and so that's adults only. And so I have that, and then I have my Friday night figure drawing group, and I sell face masks. And so I'm supporting myself online. Uh, I make less money than I used to, so I'm trying to make sure that I continue having my income come in. I applied to unemployment, but they locked me out and they need me to prove my identity, and now I'm going through this long process of doing that. It's too hard to explain, but so far it's not working, and it's taking a very long time, several weeks. Um, so I don't know if the unemployment thing is ever going to come through for me, and so I need to just keep making money online in creative, fun ways. So I just wanted to record this video. Um, so again, it's June 22nd, 2020, and I'm happy to be alive. I'm healthy and I have a safe place to live. I live by myself with my cat. I have a boyfriend. I'm really grateful and amazed about that because that's quite an accomplishment for me because I'm kind of moody and I'm kind of a bit of a loner. 
Um, I have some friends, but I like being by myself more than I like being with other people generally. I appreciate other people. I love other people. I have my mom and a dad. I have no brothers and no sisters and no kids of my own. Um, I'm old enough to be a grandmother at this point. I'm 51, but I'm not a grandmother because I don't even have kids. I'm not an aunt because I don't have brothers or sisters. So my family's very small, just my mom and my dad and me, and that's it. And they're divorced. They split up when I was four. So my dad is in Florida. My mom's on Whidbey Island. And so I miss them. I haven't seen either one of them. My, I haven't seen my dad in about a year and a half, which is the longest I've gone without seeing him, I think, in my life. Uh, my mom, I haven't seen since March. I miss my mom, so I should go visit my mom. I should go visit my dad. So I'm going to take a nice brisk walk. I like to walk at night. I feel safe, and I like to get away from other people, so it's very peaceful walking at night. I also walk in the day. I usually take two walks per day. So maybe I'll do Instagram live if I can figure it out and collaborate with other people. Uh, I'm open to more creative ideas on how to make a living online. Uh, there's different jobs I can apply to and online. I'm looking into that. Um, I think I'm better off though making a living doing my own creative thing. And so um, modeling, uh, Patreon, and selling face masks, selling my artwork, um, having a couple other subscription websites where people pay me to join and they get access to the content that I create. Uh, if they pay and they're 18 and over. And so I'm working on uh, setting up more projects of that, uh, expanding my Patreon. I think I have 10 or 12 patrons. I would love to get 100 patrons. It would be so cool um, if I could get, because uh, honestly, I only need about $1,200 a month to survive. My lifestyle is really in, inexpensive and I don't need to make tons of money. I don't want the pressure to make five, six, eight thousand dollars a month. Like some people seem to have to make several thousand dollars a month just to survive. Well, not me. So that's too much pressure for me. Um, I have enough anxiety and depression as it is and OCD, and I'm probably autistic. I'm really chaotic. Um, I used to work at 15 or 20 different um, art and medical schools, three different medical schools, and about 15 different art schools. So my life, my my career is very complicated. And my, oh my God, I have to do my income tax. Very complicated. Um, I just wanted to share that with, with anybody interested and I hope you're doing well, taking care of yourself mentally, physically, and financially, all of it matters. Uh, I'm, I don't subscribe to that. You can only care about your medical health or your financial health. I think you can care about your mental health, your medical health, your physical safety, and your financial well-being because in this culture, in the United States, if you don't have enough money to pay your bills, you end up homeless. And that's a real problem. So that's not something to joke around about. Like we need to earn money in this country or we end up homeless on the streets. So I don't choose between one or the other. I care about my physical health, my mental health, my financial health, all of it. I care about health on every level. Uh, I don't believe in polarizing and thinking I have to choose between only caring about money or only caring about my physical safety and health. I care about all of it. So I just wanted to let you know that. Um, I, a lot of people are very polarized right now, us versus them, duality. It's sad. Um, I feel like sometimes that reinforces the conflict in the world. We need to build bridges more than we need to build walls, quite literally. So I don't have the perfect answer, uh, but I know that we need to treat others how we want to be treated and we need to figure out how to get more justice in the world without reinforcing the us versus them and the duality and the conflict and the polarization. So this is Shannon Kring and Goddess Kring. My tattoo means be yourself no matter what they say. And I just wanted to say hello and good evening. And I'm going to go for a brisk walk and get my exercise for my immune system and my health. And have a good night. Bye for now. So I'll link below my um, Instagram, my Patreon, my radio show, my face masks, 
And Eli, the artist I collaborated with on Instagram tonight, he has a very interesting Instagram channel where he collaborates with lots of creative people. It's really cool. Um, okay, great idea. Bye for now. I hope this video was inspiring to you in some way. Bye for now. Thanks for being here.